Hi, this is Sean with SAP Press, and today I'd like to show you how to use our free e-reader application. This is free to download for Android and Apple devices and can be found via our website. I'll include a link to that in the description below. And once it's on your device, all you need to do is go ahead and open the app up and log in. This is the same process as logging into the website. Use your email and password. And when you do that, it's going to take you to your library. Now, this is where all the books that you have bought as either an ebook version or included in a subscription. I am working with a full subscription, which means I have access to every book in our library. And you can also go over to the top left where it says topics and go ahead and search by different topics and subtopics. So right now we're taking a look at SAP for beginners. So it shows all of our more introductory guides and the topics and subtopics all follow the conventions found on our website. So if you're familiar with the navigation of our website, this should look quite familiar to you. And you can see you can scroll down and look at all sorts of different books. We'll go through um, some of the different features now in the app. Now I want to draw your attention to the blue star on the side of the screen. Now what that indicates is a favorite. So if you want to have easy access to the three or four or 50 books that you use the most, all you need to do is press a white star, which will turn it blue. You can see that I just did that for the Success Factors book here. And what that will do is mark it as a favorite. Now, if you click on the bottom row where it says favorites, it will take you to a list of all your favorited books. So you can see the Success Factors book is part of that. I have many other books here as well. So say you want to go ahead and read one of your favorited books. All you need to do is click anywhere on the title or the cover of the book, and it will go ahead and load up the book for you. Reading works for Wi-Fi as well as mobile data. So if you're on a Wi-Fi network, you can not use your data, which is great. But if you're on the road and you don't have access to Wi-Fi, you are able to read online as well. Downloading is another option you can do, and that's good for offline reading. And you can do that here. Now, as you can see here, we have the um, parts of chapter one, and you can scroll easily between pages just by swiping to the right or the left of the screen. You can also read books offline by downloading them to your device. So underneath the star of any book that you want to download for offline reading, you can click the downward arrow. And what that will do is it will download the book so you're not going to be using your data or have to use Wi-Fi. You'll have the book saved to your device for reading. And now you can go ahead and see that the book is saved. You can click the trash can if you want to remove the download from your device. You'll still be able to access it. It just won't be taking up space on your device. So as you can see here, I have two downloaded books. So say you're reading one of the books and there is a certain topic that you'd like to know more about, um, perhaps payroll in our Success Factors Employee Central book. You can go up to the search bar on the top left type in your query and it will return all the results related to that throughout the book. So it's a really handy feature. All right, so if you head back to the library and then click on the search button at the bottom menu, you can go ahead and search for different types of books by keywords. So today I want to look for books that have to do with SAP Vora. So I'll go ahead and insert that keyword, go ahead and search and it will return all the books that include references to SAP Vora. Now, what I'm really interested in is the third return here, the SAP HANA introduction. So I'm going to go ahead and click into that, which will open up the book in the reader app. And you can go ahead and start scrolling through the pages. You can swipe right and swipe left to go forward or backward in the book. A couple of different things you can do here. You can open up the table of contents, which, which includes a list of all the different main sections and subsections of the book. You can scroll down. You can click into the ones that interest you for easy access to those pages. Doesn't mean you have to swipe 100 times to get to chapter four per se. You can just click right on chapter four and it'll take you there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the option for, for section 2.2, Big Data Solutions. And I'm going to go ahead and begin my reading. And if I've decided that the, the text is a little too small or the screen is too bright, I can go up top here, click the AA option, and it will bring you to the um, reader option. So you can switch between day and night mode. You can change the um, type of font. So if you don't like a typeface, you can change it. And you can also um, make the text bigger or smaller, as you can see that I'm doing right now with this easy slider. 
One other neat option you can do is you can switch the reading version between horizontal, which means swiping left and right, or vertical, which means just pushing the screen up with your finger or downward to move the pages along. You can also highlight certain sections of the text that are interesting to you and save them as a note. Go ahead and type in something to help you remember this and then save and it will take you to the highlights section. So if you go up to the top here, click the drop down and click the highlights button, you will now see the highlighted section that I just saved as well as the note that I included so I can remember why I highlighted this specifically. These highlights will actually sync between devices that have the app installed. So if you are using our app on both an iPhone and an iPad, if you save a note in one, it will sync to the other, which is really nice. You don't have to remember which device you saved the highlight to because it will be saved on both of them. The last tab we're going to take a look at is the settings tab. Now this is a great way for you to manage your subscription from the app. You can go ahead and delete all of the downloads that you've added to your device to free up space. You can take a look at your subscriptions, which ones you have, when it will renew. You can also manage your devices, which is great if you have your subscription on a couple different devices, say an iPhone or an iPad. You also have the option to log out. You can restrict downloads to Wi-Fi so you're not using up your data. You can also opt in or out of Google Analytics tracking. So all that does is give us a little more information about usage on the app. But if you don't want that, that is totally fine. You also have the options to take a look at our FAQs, our data privacy, our terms of service, as well as um, legal notes. So you have all the information you might possibly need um, to answer your questions. If there is something that's happening with the app, there's a bug or you have a question, you can go ahead and um, contact our support team by sending them an email directly from the app. So that's just a quick overview of the SAP Press app. Like I said, if you do not have this currently, you can add it to your device by going to our website. Otherwise, we hope that you enjoy your eBooks and your subscription. Thank you for being an SAP Press customer and happy reading.